The Star Trek franchise is finally warping back to the small screen. CBS has ordered an all-new Trek TV series set to premiere in January 2017. They haven't said where or when it will take place in the Star Trek universe, but we do know that it will introduce a new group of characters. CBS has also confirmed that the show will not take place in the same universe as the recent J.J. Abrams films, which is likely the result of legal issues between the network and film distributor Paramount Pictures. Despite that, the new series is being produced by Alex Kurtzman, who co-wrote and produced the two Abrams movies. It's unclear how similar the new show will be to the films in style. Classic Trek is more slow-paced and cerebral, while the recent films have basically been action movies in space. The new show will be boldly going in more ways than one. It will premiere on the CBS television network, but will also be available simultaneously on the streaming app CBS All Access, making it the first original scripted series for the service. The show will also be available to cable networks via first-run syndication, which has been a big success for other Trek shows like The Next Generation and Deep Space Nine. Star Trek all the time around here, here to help me talk about this big TV news. Spock Jones, uh, what do you think? You know, it is only logical that Star Trek comes back right now. That was a massive TV show. Maybe not when it first launched in the 60s, but in all of its uh, subsequent repeats and re-airings, people fell in love with these characters and this mythology. And you know what? I think that it's time for more great science fiction. There's a ton of superheroes on television right now. There's a definite void. But I think if they make a great Star Trek TV show, that can be a fantastic thing on TV. You know, I think it's a, a great point that you bring up. I have a mixed relationship with Star Trek. I admire it a lot, but I never enjoyed it quite as much as I enjoyed Star Wars. Yep. Uh, I like the J.J. Abrams movie. The uh, first one. The first one. And the yeah. second one I didn't like as much. And I, I mean, we'll see what happens with the TV show. We are definitely going to be talking about that, and uh, 2017 can't come soon enough, but there, man, there is a lot this of entertainment. 2017. That's when the show's going to launch. Why are we moment. talking about it now? In, the, in January 2017, because it's coming, it's happening. That's it's like 500 years uh, from now. It's coming. You know how fast the world spins? <laughs> I know, but it's a big deal that Star Trek is coming back. As long as they keep to the, uh, uh, the intelligence of the original show and even the next generation, the intelligence and the aspirational qualities, I think, is something that we're missing. We don't need a lot more dark. We don't need it just to be combat all the time. Uh, you know, we need some real characters, some real uh, characterization, and, and the idea of uh, exploring the universe and, and dealing with alien life in all of its forms. That's going to be really fun. Agreed, Captain. We'll decide how hard we need to cross our fingers going forward. But if you love outer space and you love these kinds of things, this is a great time to be alive. Absolutely. All right, well, right now it's time for us to uh, get our wheels back on the road. Here's our Need for Speed review. The Rundown is brought to you by EB Games.